Well, on Sunday, we're also going to be seeing the RLPA Players' Champion Award announced. And we can actually announce who the five finalists are for the NRLW. So... Here we have here Ali Brigginshaw, Ivania Polite, Hannah Southwell and Zahara Tamara, Tamika Upton as well. And uh, we are lucky enough to be joined by one of the finalists. Ivania Polite joins us now via Zoom. Ivania, thanks for your time. How does it feel to be nominated? Yeah, I'm really humbled. I didn't expect this at all. So it was a massive shock, but I'm truly grateful. Hey, Vani, we know that the voting system is a little bit different from the men. So can you tell us how it worked? How, who did you get to vote for? And just run us through that process, please. Yeah, so after the games, we received a text message um, to vote and it was a 3 two, one system. And we just went online and um, they took out our teammates so we could only vote for players from the three other teams. Ivania, congratulations on your nomination. And look, you've come from a very professional Rugby Sevens uh, background. How did you enjoy your experience with the Warriors and in Rugby League? Yeah, I really loved it. Um, being part of the Warriors team was something that I really wanted from the start and being able to experience the culture that the New Zealand girls brought over was something that I'm truly grateful I got to experience as a professional athlete. But my overall experience playing Rugby League, I absolutely loved that. Um, I've definitely got a newfound love for the game. Now, a question without notice. Can we ask who you voted for? Your 3 2 one? <laughs> Is that too cheeky? <laughs> um, I'll say my 3 2 one definitely went to some girls that are nominated in the top five here. Yeah, <laughs> that was a so smart well answer. Good answer. Good answer. Well hey, done. How, um, how different did you find from your background in rugby to coming across the NRLW? How different did you find the game? Honestly, it wasn't too different. The only thing that I found the hardest thing was um, the set plays that they had in league. And obviously we don't have that space that we normally do in sevens, but everything that we knew or we called in sevens, they just called it something different. So just being able to get on the same page with the rest of the girls, with the names and the calls. Hey, Vani, who was the toughest player that you came up against? Um, I'm probably going to have to say Yaz um, against the centre centre. Um, she was definitely the toughest, but we obviously we're in the sevens program together and she's always been a really mongrel person and she loves to deal. Um, <laughs> so that was a challenge that I love to exploit. Now that try on the weekend that Elia scored, that both of you set up, you were both, it was off a midfield scrum and just the two of you in an entire half of the field. It was obviously a set play, but what were you thinking going into that? Did you know that you were going to get her over the line? Um, yeah. I didn't know because obviously I respect Jess Serge so highly and she's achieved a lot in the game. Um, and initially they set up with a 2-2, so we only had a man-on-man -man situation. So I knew that the opportunity was there to set Elia up for a try. And then last minute they put one other defender there. So I wasn't really backing my chances. But once Elia crossed over, I knew we'd done a great job. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time and congratulations again on the nomination and good luck for uh, the award. It will be announced on Sunday during our grand final coverage. All right, we're going to get a tip from each of you. Who do you think will take out the uh, Players' Champion Award? Oh, I think Tamika Upton, actually. Mm. She's just been incredible. I thought within... Ali Brigginshaw definitely deserved to win Dally M, so I, I also don't put it past Ali. I'd, I'd be more than happy if she got it as well, but... Tamika Upton deserves some form of accolades and if it's from the players, that's just such a highly regarded thing. So I think she'd be also, if I was a player voting, I would not want to play against her. Like, you, didn't, you never know where she's going to be, where she's going to pop up. She's so dangerous. So if I was a player, I'd definitely um, pick Tamika. Ru, who's your winner and why? I think if Hannah Southwell had played that last game, I would have tipped Hannah mm -hmm. to win Players' Champion. Uh, but I'm also going with Tamika Upton for those reasons. I think she's... In her first full season of NRLW, she has been absolutely fantastic out the back. So, yeah, I think if, if we'd seen Hannah take the field in that uh, game against the Broncos, I think she'd definitely give, a, give Tamika a push for that player's champion. Mm. Well, we will have to wait and mm, see. <laughs>